Hello everyone. Today's book is called The Ballads of the Squire. If you enjoy this audiobook series, consider subscribing to the channel. Well then, let's proceed. Ballads of the Squire, Volume 1. Ballads that have been passed down since the aristocratic period and are said to come from Ragnavender, the Dawn Knight himself. They tell of Ragnavender's days as a knight's squire. Down every street in Mondstadt have I strolled. The air was filled with the stench of misery and the buzz of revelry. I saw the most arrogant of aristocrats, and I saw the most pitiful of the impoverished. At night these streets are a spider's web, some here to feast, others their eternal prey. I hear a jangling in the night, and I know it is the chains that fetter the souls of the oppressed. I patrol the streets of Mondstadt at night time, where my peers and superiors would once declare, We are the starlight knights, lift thy heads and bear witness. For we, who raise our flag in the splendor of starlight, are the true protectors of Mondstadt. But not once have I lifted my head to the stars and gazed at our flag, for I cannot shift my focus from the filthy street corners. Destitute peddlers weep in silence, aging soldiers grimace in pain. In the deathly stillness of night, a young girl, rejected by the aristocracy, pleads for Barbados's mercy. The sighing of mournful winds rattles the cathedral gate, carrying within them the grief of the oppressed. They assault splendid palatial walls. Each mother's call, each infant's cry, enough to dent the hardest of shields, enough to shatter the sharpest of swords. Sounds of sorrow send shivers down my spine, but in the palace and in the castle, though the wind blows the same over holy ground, they are but sighs of ants to the ears of men. Volume 2 Ballads that have been passed down since the aristocratic period and are said to have come from Ragnavinder, the dawn knight himself. They tell of Ragnavinder's friendship with a sword dancer. One day, at the crack of dawn, a dancer whose sword was her song set foot in Mondstadt. Though clad in chains with cuffed hands and fettered feet, in her silence lay a song. It was the song of freedom, a song of a brighter dawn beyond the walls. A joyous ballad sung without reservation by a people unrestrained. She was the dawn light of the wanderer's troop, but she spelled eternal midnight for the aristocracy. I once asked her, why do you come to overthrow our aristocrats? Do you not know that they are the first among us? Wherefore do you place their lives on a pedestal? Came her voice like a fresh breeze. If you claim to know the wind as your companion, then did you not once know freedom too? To her lonesome listeners she told a tale, a tale of our ruler's better ancestors who held divine power, a tale of angels, gods, and vile dragons, a tale of the deities and peoples of the land. Each myth and legend she turned to song, and the wind carried the song to all corners of the land. In the aristocrat's arena, her sword sang once more, her final masterpiece, but it stopped short of perfection. A nameless knight retrieved her sword from the blood-soaked battlefield and buried it where the gentle winds meet in communion. If you've reached this point of the audiobook, thank you so much. Consider subscribing to the channel and also leaving a like. Thank you. See you next time.